One aspect of Table Mountain that strikes most people is uh, several things. First off, it's incredibly flat, of course, hence the name Table Mountain. Uh, and so in this short video, we're going to explore uh, the history, the deep geological history of Table Mountain that can help us understand why Table Mountain is so flat. It's not unusual that Table Mountain is flat. It's not unusual that the sandstone layers that make it up are flat because all sedimentary rocks, when they're deposited originally, are deposited as flat layers, horizontal layers, like a layer cake stacking up over time. Well, what's unusual is the fact that Table Mountain is flat, but the surrounding rocks that are equivalent to it are anything but flat. If you look at the broader picture, Table Mountain is just one part of a much bigger mountain system called the Cape Fold Belt. And the Cape Fold Belt is so named because the sedimentary rocks that make it up were incredibly deformed and folded. And why was that? That was because long after they were buried deeply in the earth, the continents came together to form the supercontinent called Gondwana. And when continents run into each other, you form mountain belts. A good modern day analog would be the Himalayan mountains in Tibet, where the Indian continent had, has moved tectonically north and collided with Asia to form this massive mountain chain that we know as the Himalayan Tibetan Plateau. And the idea is that 280, 230 million years ago, with these continents colliding, that they also would have formed these mountain belts, perhaps on the order of even the size of the modern day Himalayan mountain. Gondwana didn't last forever, it broke up and formed the South Atlantic Ocean Basin and the Southern Ocean. And when it did that, there was uplift and erosion, and that formed the very extensive coastal plain, the low-lying areas uh, along the coast. And what we see today, we see the erosional remains of this much larger uh, mountain system is that that mountain system includes Table Mountain and includes all those mountains of the Cape Fold Belt, and that those sandstone units were all continuous at one stage. Table Mountain is now out here all by itself, separate from the main fold belt to the east. To understand that, if you imagine the Table Mountain sequence as being the stack of sediments that were in the trough or the lowest point of a fold, you can imagine that this large fold structure originally existed at the time of the collision. And over long periods of time of uplift and erosion, what has happened is the large tr uh, crests of the folds, the high points, have been eroded away. The last bit to be affected by erosion is the table, that this erosional remnant of the Cape uh, Fold Belt within this area. And this is also how we can possibly explain why Table Mountain is so flat. 